more. One more. Yes, yes. I gotta go. I gotta go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Birthday special FMJ. One. Dad. Two. Is that loud? Yes. Hold on, two hands. Lock. Here we go. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna do my review of the Cobra Dillinger in 38 special. I got this for uh, a special. I think less than 100 bucks, $99 Labor Day special a few years ago, maybe three or four years ago. Okay, but I think I learned recently that Cobra um, closed shop and was uh, taken over by Bear, Bear Man. The, that's the new owner for Cobra Firearms. Uh, but I think they are selling the same gun same design with just the addition of a trigger guard so i don't know anyway so uh first time i got this okay first time i got this I sh and shot it for the first time i said it, this gun is dangerous it might get you killed or you might shoot your fingers it's a for me it's a novelty item and not a self-defense option okay so i parked it Okay, for a while, and then uh, when I saw it, okay, uh, let me shoot it again. So after I shot it, I'm, I'm for the second time, uh, I, I I feel that I'm getting comfortable shooting it, and the third time was last Sunday, and uh, although it's still painful to shoot. Let me clear the gun. Okay, this is loaded. Okay, I carried this last night for the first time. I carried the 38 special. Okay, so last Sunday I shot this. It's still painful to shoot, but uh, I'm I'm getting comfortable shooting it or oper operating it because this is not your average gun. So you so you saw me took out the bullets. So this is a single action derringer. Single action means you need to pull the hammer back, squeeze the trigger downwards, downward, don't ever fire, dry fire this gun, okay? Downwards, see, downwards. If you try to pull it backwards going that way, nothing's gonna happen. But if you, uh, um, anyway, I modded this and cut two of the coil springs for the hammer uh, to make it more uh, shooter friendly, should I say. Okay, so that's how you operate it. Half cock. Uh, this is supposed to be the safe way to carry it. Half cock and the uh safety on safety off push it pull it back and then pull the trigger downwards okay see without the safety it will reach all the way there with the safety there's a gap okay so like i said i shot this last sunday it's still painful to shoot because you can only put one and a half of your fingers and this is pointed so it's not really comfortable to shoot so but but for its size it can shoot a big caliber like a 38 special can be a self-defense option you know, maybe your second or third option but not your first or your primary Okay, so I think when I did an unboxing, I used a 357 snap cap and it fits, but this is only 38 special. So uh, I think it cannot handle the recoil of the 357. Okay, uh, and what else? Um, 
materials the materials uh the material made i think it's some sort of alloy not full steel like the bond arms but it's it also doesn't cost as much as a bond arms for its uh price i think it's a it's still a good deal for less than 150 dollars and you don't need full steel to shoot certain rounds like you know 38 specials is going to be my my <clears throat> my biggest round personally for a derringer like this uh what else uh people are saying that it's fun to shoot the 22 with this but i think i got i went uh when i went home i bought a 22 magnum barrel and a in another 380 so i think 380 will be more pleasant to shoot since it is shorter okay maybe like that okay so uh what else i showed you how to open it so when you open this don't load it Pointing that way, otherwise you're gonna point the barrel to yourself. Okay, point sideways. Okay, load, lock. Okay, for me it's still a, uh, it's a good buy for less than one fifty and good addition to your collection. I don't suggest this for to first time shooters or your primary being your primary weapon for carry maybe a secondary or third option okay so like i said the 22 magnum is on the way and a 380 and also i'm looking for a 25 so maybe you're asking why not a bond arms yeah i'm i'm planning to get a bond arms in 45 long called and 410 slash 410 so i can shoot multiple calibers use, using the adapter cylinder uh, cylinders but for now this is the cobra dillinger cobra dillinger oh i use this uh speed speed clips Got this from Amazon. I think they also sell in other calibers. That this is for a 38 special. I just grabbed this last night. I carried this for the first time. So, like I said, this is empty. Uh, but if I'm gonna carry, I have a uh, JHPs. Okay, uh, these are my leftovers plus from last Sunday. So see, it's so small. If you do pocket carry with this thing is, I think it's smaller than a cell phone. All right. I think it looks uh, beautiful. Good conversation piece. Great addition to your gun collection. And it's really cute. But be careful when you, when you buy it for the first time. Choose the right caliber for you. 38 special for me or and a 9 millimeter is too much for these small guns 380 and below that's my recommendation so that's it guys if you like this video please click like and subscribe use my amazon link it will not cost anything to you but it will help the channel so thanks for watching One more, one more. Uh. Ow! <laughs> it hurts my hand. It hurts my hand. It hurts my hand. Go for the Dillinger. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. This is the unlock and lock. Hey, 30 special FMJ. One, Dad, two. Is that loud? 
Yes. Hey. Hold on, two hands. Lock. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Ah, it's unsafe. Sorry. Wow. One more, one more. Uh. Ow. <laughs> it hurts my hand. It hurts my hand. It hurts my hand. Cobra Dillinger. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go. I gotta go. I'm going, I'm going to go down.